Are the pitches you are swinging at taking you out of your game? Are you swinging at the inside, the outside, the rise ball, all at the same at bat and not getting the results that you want? I have some tips that may help you with your pitch selection. I'm Natasha Watley, two-time Olympian, and I help softball athletes become game changers. For the best softball slap hitting tips, drills, and motivation, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. This Tasha tip is brought to you by my live free class on how to build a game-changing triple threat. Come learn how to build a slapper into a triple threat properly. Sign up for my next class at gamechangers.natashawatley.com forward slash live class. We have all seen it. You go up to bat and we go down swinging at every pitch the pitcher throws. And when this happens, the question to ask is, what pitch were you looking for? If you can't answer this question, then we need to step up in our pitch selection. Here are some tips on having a better pitch selection. The first thing is having a plan. If you missed it, I created a whole entire video on having a plan right here. Make sure you go back and you watch that because we talk about how you can create a plan at the plate. But more than anything, I want you guys to think about having an image of the pitches that you will swing at and the pitches that you won't swing at. I'm gonna repeat that because this is so important. You wanna have an image of the pitches that you will swing at and the pitches that you don't swing at. So every time you're facing a pitcher and you see her go through the game, you can see the pitches that she throws for strikes and you can see the pitches that she's not throwing for strikes. People tend to focus only on the pitches that she's throwing for strikes and that you're going to go for. It's so important that you also have an image of the pitches that you're not going to swing at. That is key. The second tip is to make your decision late. This is so important because so many times as hitters, we want to crush the ball and we want to be aggressive and we want to make sure that we are putting this ball back in play, but we are not giving ourselves the proper amount of time to make good decision making on the pitches that we're swinging at. So in order to do this, we got to let the ball travel so that we can make that later decision so that we have better decisions. A third tip for better pitch selection is taking pitches and watching the pitch all the way in. So, so many times when hitters are taking pitches, when I say taking pitcher, you're not swinging at this pitch. So many times the ball passes and they're still looking at the pitcher, okay? So what you want to do is track that ball all the way into the catcher's mitt if you're not gonna swing at it. And what this does is allow you to track pitches better. So if that's a ball and you can see that that ball is having late break, it's taking a rise later, and you saw where that pitch ended up, now that next time that pitcher throws it, you already have that stored in your image so that now you know not to swing at it again. The last and final tip for having better pitch selection is having your own zone and knowing what your zone is because what does the pitcher want you to do? The pitcher wants you to swing into her zone. So if the pitcher predominantly throws outside and that's not your zone, obviously, yes, we always have to be mindful of what the umpire is calling, but take that out of the equation. If she's not giving you your pitch and not coming into your zone with less than two strikes, by all means, be patient, have your own zone and be patient. That's going to help you with not biting into what the pitcher's zone is. I have a three-part mini video series on the slapping basics. Download it from the link below. Also, if you want to join a community of softball parents, coaches, and players, and have conversations all about slap hitting, I have a secret society and a free Facebook group where we share tips, drills, and motivation. That link is below as well. So I would love to know what are some things that have helped you guys with your pitch selection? Make sure you guys leave them down in the comments right now. Pitch selection is such an important element to having good at bats and being a hard out. Having a plan and having an idea before you even step into the batter's box is going to help you with execution. So make sure that you guys are sticking to your plan and you are bound to do great things. Good luck, game changers. 
If you liked this video, please let me know by commenting, liking, and sharing this video. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time.